We all have days when we're too busy to make it to the gym. But here's one exercise you can do at home when you're short on time but still need to get a quick burn in. Squat, curl, and press. Keep your legs slightly apart, back straight, and core tight. Then just squat, curl, then stand up and press. Try doing that for the whole commercial break. If you already have a moderate level of fitness and you're looking to kick it up a notch, try adding some jump work to your routine. If you're doing squats, try a jump squat or try some jumping lunges. And for a little variety with your cardio, try jump rope or jumping jacks. One of the biggest mistakes beginner runners make is to run too fast, causing shortness of breath and side stitches. To prevent this, concentrate on breathing deep down in your belly. And if you have to, take walking breaks. Here's a three-step interval course you can do in your living room. Step one, jumping. Bend down into a squat position and jump as high as you can in the air and land. Repeat 10 times. Step two, bicycle abs. Lay on the floor and alternate pedaling legs with lifting the opposite elbow to the opposite knee. Repeat 20 times. Next, jog in place for three minutes. Recover for one minute and repeat the interval circuit at least two more times. By adding singing to your workout, you breathe more deeply, take in more oxygen, improve your aerobic ability, and release muscle tension. Singing also tones abdominal and intercostal muscles and helps stimulate circulation. So, next time you work out at home, pick your favorite tune and belt it out for an even more effective total body workout. Experimenting with kettlebells is a killer ballistic workout that's going to build muscle, shed fat, and keep things fresh and fun. If you're just starting out, try a kettlebell swing for back and core, or a clean and jerk for legs and shoulders. A common myth out there is doing abdominal crunches alone will give you the abs you've always wanted. False. It takes a little bit more work than that. First, you've got to do cardio to burn the fat off the abdominal region. Second, proper nutrition. Third, then do all those abdominal crunches. You follow those three steps, you'll absolutely get the abs you've always wanted. Weight management is all about balance. Balancing the number of calories you consume with the number of calories your body burns. And don't guess, you write it down, keep a journal of your calorie burn and your calorie intake. This is visual evidence of your progress, it can help you track changes, and it gives you a daily record of what you've accomplished. The hardest part of losing weight is often not having support. Find a friend, family member, or even an online buddy to join you in your weight loss journey. Studies show that having a partner increases weight loss success. So, buddy up and hit the gym. For a great workout, take a deck of cards and do the number of repetitions that correspond to the number on the card. Face cards equal 10 repetitions. An ace gives you a one minute break. Diamonds equal push-ups. Hearts equal lunges. Spades equal crunches and clubs equal a reverse crunch. Go until you finish an entire deck. Most people don't know that taking the time to allow your body to recover is just as important as getting in cardio and weight training. Lifting weights is actually tearing down your muscle fibers, and it's only after the workout is finished that your body is in the rebuilding process. Also, never work out the same muscle groups in consecutive days. They need time to repair and recover.